Genesis. Can you guys hear me? Good evening. Good night. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good. I'm okay. Thank you, Eric. How was your day? Um, my day is good. Uh huh. Okay. And what about the others? Williams, Felipe, Genesis? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Great. Tired. Tired, huh? Yes, it was tired. Okay. And Genesis, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good. Good to see you again. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have Claudia, we have Pamela, Nelly, Ivan, Felipe, Eric, and Genesis. It's nine o'clock. What's today's date? Today's date is Wednesday, 29th. Yes, it's Wednesday. April 29. Tomorrow we officially finish our first week. So like in every class at the beginning, we always have a small review about the different things that we do. Do you remember the topics that we covered yesterday? Yes. What were the topics? WH questions. Okay. WH questions in which tense? In simple tense. Simple present. Simple present. Simple yes. present. Simple present, exactly. So you use do and you use does. What's the difference between do and does? Can does uh -huh. it for he or she? Is she it? Uh huh. And do is for I, you, we, they. Good. They have exactly the same function. The only difference is the personal pronoun that you mentioned. The function is exactly the same. Okay. Um, and what is the function of the simple present tense? Talk What's about the uh -huh. things that happen? Uh huh. That happen. In present. Okay. Um, can we say other words instead of simple present? Because simple present is the name. And um, every tense has a different function. Every tense has a different uh, structure. What is the function of the simple present tense? Somebody, anybody. The function of the simple present tense, it's yes. maybe uh, to indicate about the things that, that are happening now, that it's happening now. Okay. Okay, when you say things about that are happening now, do you mean now in this moment or all the time? 
It's all the time. No, in this moment. Okay. When, when we talk about the present continuous, then we're talking about things that are happening in this moment. When we use the simple oh, okay. present, we're talking about things that happen all the time. Okay. Yes. So that is the simple present tense. Um, when you're using he, she, it, and the information is positive, what happens to the main verb? Can you repeat? When you're using he, she, it in the simple present and the information is positive, what happens to the main verb? What do you do to the main verb? You plus you have F. Have, have the word F. Add S. Okay, so you put letter S to the verb. At the end. At the end, exactly. So you say she drives a nice car. She goes to work every day. He has um, he has three brothers. He works every day. So you put S the main verb. Do we have any questions about the simple present? Now remember that we said at the beginning that we use the simple present tense to talk about actions that happen all the time. So if I ask you, what is a typical day in your life? When you answer, you will have to use the simple present tense. The letter S is used only for he, she, and it. Yes, only for he, she, it. That is correct. Any because other questions? I yes. And you, we don't use the letter S. We use the verb in its regular form. Yes. Yes. Without the S. You use S only when the personal pronoun is he, she, and it. Thank you. Sure. Any other questions related with the simple present? We use simple present. Yes, we're Claudia? talking about we're talking about daily routines. Daily routines, that is correct. And that's exactly what your next exercise will be. You guys will be working in pairs and you will tell your friend, your classmates, um, all the daily activities that you do every day. So you will say, I wake up at 6 in the morning, I leave my house like about 6.25, 6.30, I start my first class at 6.45, I finish at 8.30, blah, 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 blah. And then you mention the time that you have breaks, how you go to work, what time you finish, and all the daily activities that you do on a regular basis. Is that clear? Yes. 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 All right. So you guys will be working in pairs. I will assign uh, a classmate to you guys, so you guys can work in pairs, and you will talk about the different activities you guys do um, every day. So let me see how many okay. people I have here. Breakout rooms. We got 15, that's a good number. Uh, eight, one, two, seven, two, and three. Here we go. Well, I'm fine too. But the exercise yes. is to talk about the simple present. 
Okay. Gloria and Nelson. Hi. Okay, ha are you speaking? Gloria, can you hear us? Nelson, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I, I think Gloria has a problem. Give me I a think. second. I will move you to room four. Hello, Andy. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I am alone. Okay. Yes, that's what I see. That's why I came here. So I can assign you to another group. Give me a second. Okay. Andy, I will send you to group two. I know what you feel when you can't sleep. <laughs> yeah. And when I well, have to work, it's, it's really difficult. Okay. I eat uh, kitchen, kitchen, well, sorry. Um, and, and then I. I, 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 I do the homework with my, the, in my, my work in 2, 2 p.m. teach class, uh, after uh, drive or the other, other work in, in gymnastic, mm -hmm. uh, okay. teach uh, other class and return on my house, maybe 8.30 or 9 p.m. And dinner, uh, go to bed uh, maybe 12 or 12 a.m. Okay. Nelson? Hi, teacher. Uh, <laughs> Are you guys speaking? Okay. Andy is talking about your day. Her day. Yes. Yeah. She brushed uh, her teeth at eight o'clock. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Yes. Okay. So is that the time you woke up today, Andy? Yes, I woke up. I woke up at seven o'clock. Okay. But well, you didn't get up until one hour later. Yes. Okay, so were you in your bed using the cell phone? No, I talk with my daughter and play in, in the bed. Okay, good, very good. All right, so let's return to the main session. Okay. 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 All right, can you guys hear me? 
Yes. All right. Uh, so when you go to a, a job interview, uh, the person asking you the questions, they will always ask you uh, to tell them about yourself. And when you start describing yourself, when you start describing your life, you will always use the simple present tense. That's mandatory. So keep that in mind that when you go to a job interview, they will ask you, uh, they will tell you to, uh, they will ask you to tell them about yourself. So you give them your name, where you live, your marital status, <coughs> If you go to university, if you work part-time, full-time, and the reason why you want to work in that particular place. Okay. All right. Um, any questions wow. about the simple present tense? Yeah. Just to get a, a, a feedback, right? Uh, the simple present is used about only for, for an action that is, that is happening all the time. Right. And we use the letter S in the verb given when we use the pronoun she, he, or it, right? Right. Yes, that is correct, Alan. Exactly. All right. Anybody else has any comments or questions? Yes, I have a yes. question. Yes, Pamela. Um, en el caso de, como estamos hablando de cosas que pasan todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero yep. en el caso de que yo quiero decir que me mantengo trabajando todo el día, ¿es correcto decir I keep work all day? ¿O a, tengo que decir I keep working? ¿O, o cómo armo esa oración? You use uh, I stay. Ok, you can say I stay you, at I stay. work. I stay at the office all day. Or you can simply say, I work all day. And when you say, okay. I work all day, that includes that, you know, you're constantly- All the time. Busy. Yeah, all the time, exactly. Okay, thank you. Sure. Someone else had an, another question? Yes, hi. Oh, Felipe, uh, yes. I, but can we talk about the simple present is the it's the day, ¿verdad? Yeah, Pero it's, it's, por rato uno mezcla. No sé, yo tengo la maña right. de mezclar el pasado también. Right, right. So yo, o sea, for ENG. Yo estuve, por, ajá, yo que yo estuve trabajando. Le dije, oye, yep. estuve haciendo. No exactly. Sé si, y, y, o, sea, o siempre, o siempre, o all the, day, all the time, yo tengo que hablar del presente. I work. No, no, no. I necessary. work. No. O sea, eso, esa mezcla entre... It's normal. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's, uh -huh. it's normal. No, no. Yeah, it's normal. Pero no me acostumbro a hablar presente, presente, total, así. O sea, yo sé que es, ¿verdad? Pero no yeah. me acostumbro. No, that's good. And, and that's the idea that you guys make a combination of the 12 tenses when you speak. Because when, when you're having a, a real conversation with a person that doesn't speak Spanish, you speak about different things, not only about the simple present itself, but you make a combination of different tenses. So that is good. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anybody else has a comment or a question? Alan, you wanted well, to say something? No. I, I have a, a question. Yes. Yeah, yes, I, I I have a question because I couldn't and, and start the, the class as as the, the same time that you because uh what is this, what is the difference about simple person between simple uh simple person and the simple present and the present perfect. Okay. Now the, the simple present talks about actions in general. Actions that happen all the time. Now, when you're talking about the present perfect, like I have seen that movie five times, I have told you uh, to be here uh, at 10 o'clock, uh, you're talking about unfinished activities. When you're using present perfect, you're talking about actions that start in the past and they still continue at the time you're speaking. 
example. <laughs> okay, that is this is the difference about the simple present and, and present perfect, right? Yes. So yeah, the, so the simple present is used about only for action that is happening all the time, and right. the present perfect is action that is started in the past and is still continue, right? Exactly. And for the present perfect, you use okay. auxiliary have or has, and the form of the verb is always past participle. Okay. If I told you, uh, I have written the, the definition between the difference about the simple present between uh, see, uh, the present perfect, uh, that's, that uh, statement is in, in present perfect, right? Yes. I have written. Yeah, I have read. Okay. Yes, I have read. I have read. Yes. Yes, that, that, is, that sentence is in the present perfect. Yes, Alan. In present perfect, we use the verbs uh, like in simple past, but with the verb have or... Okay, uh, when we're using the present perfect, we're using auxiliary have or has. Uh, have or exactly the or same. Has, right. The only difference is that have is for I, you, we, they, and has is for he, she, it. It doesn't matter if you're using have or has, okay. the form of the verb is always past participle. Yes, it, that is because this in present perfect uh, have it became a, an auxiliary, right? It's an auxiliary. Yes, that is correct. It's an auxiliary. Okay. Yes. Any no, other it, questions? I, I didn't have any question, right? <laughs> okay, good. No. Any other comments or questions? Anybody else? No. 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 All right, so let's do some, um, let me see this here. Let me maximize, let me share screen, share screen, and uh, what's that? No, it's this one here. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Can you see the picture? Yes. Sure. Yes, I see it. Okay. Yes. What do you see in the picture? Two, Two people person. do exercise. Two okay. Person in exercising. the gym. In Okay. Okay. How do you know they are at the gym? I mean, the, the, the answer is very obvious, but I want you to speak. How do you know they are at the gym? Because they, because um, they are the stop bikes, stop bikes. Okay. Uh, someone else. Very good. Because of the clothes. Okay. Because of the clothing they're wearing. Good. And what are they wearing? Sweatpants and uh, sweaters. Sweaters. Sweater. Okay, what kind of shoes Headband. are they wearing? Sneakers? Yes, you can say sneakers, sneakers, you can say tennis shoes, you can say running shoes. Yes. Okay, yes, so right. they are at the gym. Shoes. Okay, so we have Daniel and we have Helen. I'm going to read it one time. You guys just pay attention. If you have any questions about meaning or pronunciation, you guys let me know. So it goes like this. So do you usually come to the gym okay. in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. All right, do we have any questions there? Uh, 
Uh, what it mean to the to the paragraph? By the way. By the way. Uh, does anybody know how to say by the way in Spanish? Por cierto. Eso Por cierto. A propósito. De cualquier forma. Uh -huh. um, de cualquier forma will be anyways. Okay. Anyways. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, by the way, is a propósito, por cierto. Yes. Como sea. Okay, if uh, if you want to say como, como sea, you say, say whatever. Uh, I mean. anyway, whatever. anyway, okay. or whatever, yes. Okay. All right, um, any other questions for the conversation? Yeah, announcer. Announcer. Does anybody know the meaning of announcer? Locutor. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, an announcer is like a presenter. Yeah, like like Moises Urbina is a TV announcer. Okay. Any other questions? No? Okay, so I need two volunteers. I need Daniel and I need Helen. I can be Helen. I will be Daniel. Okay, very good. One, two, three. Let's do it. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time did you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Daniel? Whoa, that's late. When do you get home? At night. I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Do you recognize me? Oh, you're, you're held in black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. All right, good, very good, thank you. Any questions about pronunciation or meaning of words? No. No. No? No. Okay, so remember that um, every time that we have an exercise like this, um, usually it's an introduction for a grammatical point. So in this case, we're going to be studying in, on, and at. Give me a second. New share. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I see it. Okay, what's yes. the name of the image? Preposition. Preposition yes. of time. Yes, prepositions of time. So it's very common, and this is something that you guys need to be paying close attention to. Um, I have seen cases of people being in a advanced levels and sometimes they use in instead of on or they use on instead of at. Now this topic right here, um, it's not only the theory, but uh, you have to practice it as well. So we have in, on, at. So let's start with the first one. We have at. What time is your English class? At uh, nine. 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 Nine p.m. Okay. Nine, nine p.m. Okay. At nine p.m. Or you can say at night. Night. You can say at noon. At midday. Midnight. Bedtime. Sunrise, sunset, and if you are speaking with someone from England, 
it is recommended that you say at the weekend. Do we have any questions about the first part of the chart? No. Is everything clear? What is the meaning of at in Spanish? Uh, alas. Alas. Uh -huh. uh, but remember that if you if you translate to Spanish, in Spanish sometimes we say en la noche, a las diez, los um, a la hora de levantarme, a la hora de acostarme, o los fines de semana. So we have different ones. Okay. Yes. Okay, now if we're talking about parts of the day, you will say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. If you mention the month, you will say also in, in December, in September, in March. How do you say estaciones del año in English? Spring, summer, fall, summer, fall, and winter. Okay, and how do you say that in English? Seasons. Seasons, season. exactly. If you're going to mention the name of the season, you will say in. If you will mention the year, you will say in 2013, or you can also say in the 1990s. Or if you don't have a specific amount of time, a specific amount of time, you will say in a few minutes. Are we okay with the second part? Yes. Yes. All right. And now we go with the last part. If you mention the name of the day, you will say on Friday, on Thursday, on Monday. If you will mention the name of the day, plus the part of the day, you will say on, on Monday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Wednesday evening, on my birthday, holiday. Can you give me examples of holidays? Christmas. Christmas, uh-huh. What else? Mother's Day. Mother's Day, uh-huh. Mother's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's, Father's Day, very good. Children's Day. Children's Day, very good. So if you want to mention the month plus the date, you have to say on. If you're going to mention only the month, you will say in. If you will mention the month plus the date, you have to say on. Um, when is... Uh, Independence in El Salvador. Um, September. 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 Fifteen. Exactly. So you will say well. On September fifteen. You say uh, Salvadorians celebrate uh, independence in September, and then the person asks you uh, when exactly uh, in September. You will say on oh. September. 15. 15. So you 16. will mention the month plus the date. Okay. So you will say on a weekday, okay. on time, and if you're talking with a gringo and you want to say weekend, you will say on the weekend. Do you have any questions about that explanation? No? No. Okay, so do you see the exercise that we have below? Yes. Yes. All right, let me see this here. Mm -hmm. Right there. Teacher. Yes, ask me. How can we know when to use one or another? In the case of in and on. Uh-huh. Uh, like I said before, Pamela, uh, this this is one of the topics that you need to practice as much as possible. So at, at the beginning, we have this here. Here's the explanation. But for you to master 
this information, it's always better that you really practice what we have in, uh, in the exercise. Okay. Anybody else has any other questions? No. No. no? Okay, so let me take a picture of this. Repositions of time. You see this here? Yes, it's right there. Send it. What's up? And 9 to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know if you received the document in the WhatsApp chat. Yes. 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 All right, so once again, you guys will be working in pairs. Uh, you have the image in the WhatsApp chat. You also have it in your computer. If you want to capture an image, you can also do it. And if yes. not, Cut let through. me take the groups again. Here we go. Open all rooms. And let's do this. On Saturday. On Saturday. Okay. Okay. Time. The two? Yes. Yes. Ahora es. Two. Two. Okay. Okay. Bam. Um, I like to, I like to get up really early at sunrise when the birds start to sing. Okay. At sunrise, yes. At Tom. sunrise. Tom. Tom's birthday is next week on January 14th. Yes, yes. on January 14th. One day after my birthday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. My grandfather was born in the 1915. Yeah. Yes, yes. In the 1915. Yes, it is in. Okay, number eight. Uh, will we be uh, on time or will we miss our flight? Okay. On time. Will we be on time? Uh, my family and I like to stay.
Yo tenía un compañero. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm Hello. fine. It's raining in my house. <laughs> Where is your house? Santana? Yes. yes. Is it raining hard? Uh, yes, at around the 3 p.m. To, to this time. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. I, I'm in Lourdes and we haven't had any rain here lately. At okay. this time, it's rain hard. Uh, at the 6 p.m. low, the 3 or 4 is hard, raining hard. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Did you guys finish with, um, with the exercise? Yes, I send it to the group. All right, good. So let's uh, let's check if the others are finished. Okay. It's in in. I know at two. Okay. At two ping. I I die to the rat really early. At sunrise. Ahí en el 5 de noviembre hay unos apartamentos, ¿verdad? Eh, ah, sí, sí, antes de llegar. Ok, ¿estás no practicando en inglés? Sí. Sí, teacher. Ajá, so we have uh, a, there are apartments en 5 de noviembre. <laughs> no, teacher, we finished uh, 15 sentences. Ok, the 15 But sentences. 15 sentences. Uh -huh. But uh, we we have a question. Yes, what's the question, Genesis? Number seven. My grandfather was born on no in in the one thousand nine hundred fifty. Okay, in in the nineteen fifties. Nineteen fifties. Yes. Nineteen fifties. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, in the nineteen fifties. Nineteen fifties. There, there is one example. Let me see where is this. I don't know if you can see it um, in the computer, but it says in. It says in the nineteen nineties. So when you're not being very specific about something, you say in the 1990s, in the 1940s, for example. In the 1940s. Yes, in the 1950s, in the 2040s, and so on. Eso es como decir en los 90, en los 50. Exactly. When you're talking about a period of 10 years, Ah, oh, okay. Right. How do you say decadas in English? Decades. Decades. Decades, decades yes. So when you're okay. talking about blocks of decades, you use in the 1950s, in the 1920s, in the 1980s, and so on. 1980s? Son uh -huh. 80. Yes. Yep. So it can be from 1980 to 1989. That's exactly 10 years. 1989. Yeah, from 1980 to oh, 1989. Ah, okay. Right. Los 90 son 1990. 90s. 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 Yeah. You have 90s. to make sure that you pronounce letter S at the end. So you say 90s, 80s, 70s, 50s, 60s, and so on. Okay. Okay. Yep. Any other questions you guys may have? No, teacher. No? All right. So let's return to the main session. Okay.
All right. Did everybody have the chance to do the exercises? Yes. We finished. Okay, good. Um, is everything clear? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, let me look for this here. Repositions. Okay, you see the document? Do you see the image? No. 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 Not this. All right, give me a second. Share, share. Do you see it now? Yes. yes. All right. Yes. yes. Uh, may I have a volunteer for number two? We're going to have a picnic. On Saturday. On Saturday afternoon. Very good. Number three. I'll be finished my work on an hour. At an hour. In an hour. In an hour. In an hour. Yes, in an hour. What about number four? When is the meeting? Is meeting is, is at, it at the two? Is it at two? Two o'clock. Is it at, at two? When is the meeting? Is it at? Is it at two? Uh huh. Is it at two? Exactly. Here. Uh, I like to get to get up, get up, get up really early at sunrise when the bears start to sing. Okay, good. Uh, I like to get up really early at sunrise. At sunrise, very good. What about sunrise. number six? Son's birthday is next, next week on January 14th. Right, on January 14th. Very good. What about number seven? Okay, we'll do it. My grandfather was born in the 1950s. Very 1950s. good. In the 1950s. What about number eight? Will we be yeah. on time? Will we be yes. on time? Yes, be on the time. Yeah. All right, on time, very good. What about the next one, number nine? My family, My family and, I, and I like to stay in the winter. Very good, in winter, very good. Number 10, are there any holidays? On October. October. In October. In October. Yes, remember that if we mention only the month, we're okay. supposed to stay okay. in. We use in. In October. In October. Yeah, in okay. October. In what about 11? Our school cafeteria opens for lunch. At noon. At noon. At noon. At noon. Very At good. Noon. What about number 12? What time does your son go to bed? At night. At night. At night. At night. Very good. Night. What about 13? Move to the city in 2012. Good. In 2012, 12, about 14. 12, 12. Are you going to do anything special on your birthday? Yes, on, on your birthday. birthday. On your birthday. On your birthday, uh huh. And what's the last one? I'm not going to watch a TV show. It starts at midnight. Good, good. I'm not going to watch that TV show. It starts at midnight. At yes. midnight. At midnight. Yes. At midnight. Okay. Uh, I know that some of you guys are not working at this time. Are you going to bed late? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. And what is late for you? 12. Maybe 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, 12 is late, 1 a.m. is very late. Yep. 3. 3 a.m., that's extremely late. That's like the next day already. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, when you go to bed late, do you wake up late? 
Yes. No. Not usually. Not, not, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah, sometimes I have insomnia. Well, not sometimes. It's very strange that I have insomnia. But when I do, sometimes I sleep late. Sometimes I wake up early, like normal. But it's not a good idea to go to bed late and wake up early. It, it's, it's not um, it's not good for the body. Okay, do you have any questions about this exercise in on act? No, no. no. Okay, sir. No okay. Questions. Now, do you have any question? Do you have any questions related with anything about today? No. 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 No, teacher. All right. So we're going to stop right here. I thank you once again for making the time, for making the space to attend classes. And we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. All right, you good guys night. have a good night. Good, good night. night. Good night for us. Bye. 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 Bye.